Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have tried filming the intro to this video three times. My dog is laying right at my feet and he keeps hitting my tripod and I just don't have it in me to put him in his crater to move him. This is his house too. So I'm just gonna try to be careful, get out of his way because he's the king of the house. So I have mentioned before that I go onto Content Boulevard, which is a website for YouTubers, beauty vloggers and bloggers, and I lay down. And um, you can actually sign up for different campaigns to have certain products be sent to you for review, giveaways, things like that. I do have a bunch of items set aside for a giveaway that I'll be doing at some point, so stay tuned for that. Um, I will link Content Boulevard down below, and I have, I think, four products here to show you guys. Five products, I think. Maybe four. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off with this bracelet that I got. And this, this is the Rose Kiss Jet Panache bracelet. It is a double leather strand. I'm trying to... Get it here so you guys can see. It's, it's a double black leather strand. It has this really adorable, this is like a, a gold, but it's almost like a tinge of a rose gold heart and it has black jewels in there. It does have this egg shaped clasp that you could stick your nail in there. However, it has this opener, which I just think is really, really cool. And I'm not gonna open mine right now because I don't want the jewel to fall off and my dog to try and eat it. But basically you just stick this right in here and then this little piece just clips right in and opens up the bracelet. So you're not damaging your nails or anything like that. I just thought that was a really great idea. This is something, I mean, I'm wearing all silver today and I'm just, I'm that person of that notion that you only live once, life is too short. If I want a bold lip and a bold eye and lashes out to here, that's what I'm gonna do with my life. And there is no need for me, in my opinion, unless I'm going to like a wedding or something like that, to not wear gold and silver together. Like I really don't care unless I'm going to, again, a very fancy, elegant event. But the fact that it has this like leather band, I actually really like the black. It does come in different colors. The heart comes in different um, colors as well. You can have different styles and things like that. So there's a lot of different options. But I wear this, I will usually put it on the same, um, I, this is the Apple Watch and I have different bands. So when it's a colored band that's kind of like silicone-y feeling, I will have this bracelet layered with that or layered with other bracelets. I've gotten a ton of compliments. I just think it's really cool. I'm trying to get more into fashion. Can you guys hear him? He's playing. He's playing with his toy, so. At least he won't hit the tripod. But yeah, so this is an item that I've actually really been loving. I will link their website down below. Um, I just think it's a, a cool concept. A lot of these charm bracelets are out, and some of them can be really pricey, and the cheaper ones can be kind of cheap. Um, and this is one that I've just found is durable. It's pretty. Again, I've gotten compliments. Like People actually notice it. It's just something different. So I do really like that. So like I said, I will link that down below. Now this is something I have not tried yet, and I'm actually really excited to. So I did paint my nails. Do I have my nail polish? I do. I did just recently paint my nails the whole last night. This is the OPI Nail Lacquer in Alpine Snow. I pulled this in my makeup basket last week, and I really like it. It did take, you know, two to three coats on certain nails. But, um, well, so once this kind of gets old, I, I'm a little nervous because white, when it gets ready to be changed it's kind of really obvious it needs to be changed i will be trying this this is 100 percent natural it's from pure body naturals i've actually gotten a bunch of stuff from that brand before and i've liked everything so i'm excited to try this and it's an 100 percent all natural nail polish remover so it's non-flammable 100 percent biodegradable no acetone no acetate no ethyl lactate and it is usda certified so this is what this guy looks like and i'm just really excited to use it I just think that's so cool. It does say use a Q-tip dropper or a cotton ball and just dab a small amount on the product onto each nail, allow to sit for two to five minutes and then gently rub off. So that's really cool. I'm just trying to see the ingredients. Oh my gosh, it's like, there's like five ingredients in here. So that's really awesome. So I'm really excited to uh, try that out. I definitely will keep you guys posted. So I do have two other products from Pure Body Naturals. So they have a really wide array of products. And when it comes to body and skincare and health, I mean, you really have a lot to cover. There's hair, there's your, your skin, there's shower stuff, nail stuff. So that's really exciting. So there is this 100% natural coconut oil hair mask. I have used this, I want to say two or three times. Oh, it smells so good. Of course, it smells like coconut. Kind of not as strong as like suntan oils and lotions, but it does have like a hint of that like coconutty 
pina colada y kind of scent. Uh, this is a deep conditioner, intensive repair. It has no parabens or sulfates. This is just really, really nice. Now, it's just exactly what you would expect from like a hair treatment. I have put this on my hair wet. I put it on dry. I put it on in a pinch when I've run out of shampoo, um, out of conditioner. So I think I've used it three times and those are the three ways I've, I've tried it. So I really do like it and I don't need a lot. My hair is, you know, a little bit past my boobs, past my bra line. And, um, and I don't need to use a lot, which is really nice. I also, when I'm done and I wash everything out, my hair isn't too slippery it's not like overly conditioned or you guys know what i mean like sometimes it almost feels like you can't get the product out of your hair and then it's weighing it down and it's flat or looks oily or greasy my hair is super dry it never looks oily or greasy but it doesn't get extra flat and weighed down so i really do like that product uh, this is one i have not tried and it's just because i have two scrubs open in my shower they're actually my husband's and he is not using them so i'm using them but this is also from pure body naturals 100 percent natural hence the pure body naturals tea tree oil body and foot scrub it's a blend of what is it the dead the yeah the pure dead sea salts and then a whole bunch of different essential oils and this is still kind of shrink wrapped i'm really excited to use this tea tree oil is um you know, a natural disinfectant, like a stringent, it's really good if you have, I believe even if you have a wound, but I don't want to say, if you have an open wound, don't go pouring it in there and say, Adriana told you to. But you could actually use it as a deodorant. It's good for your skin. Um, it has a nice light scent. There's so many uses for it, so I'm really excited to try this guy. And... Mm, Oh, it has Epsom salts. That's awesome. So this is obviously something for the shower. I'm really excited to try this one as well. Now the last thing, I'll try to go through this video quickly because this may take some time to talk about. I got this from Trophy Skin. It's a discover your best skin. That's what it says. It's a mini microderm abrasion like a uh, home home system I guess you could say so it's portable really adorable box I really like the box and it just has this um little ribbon that you pull it out so it's actually like a drawer almost so that's what the box looks like and it does have like slight instructions here very brief and it has this really pretty rose gold trophy skin kind of cover and then you open it here are the directions and this is it this is it guys so it has a plug I'm going to take this out and then it has uh, these little charcoal filters replaceable ones and it is so small see it is it's so light guys it's like nothing and um you can see here it's just it's really pretty it has the this like rose gold um base it has the rose gold button and then here so it does have a button here when you turn it on it automatically goes to the lowest setting and they do recommend that you try it on the lowest setting at least a few times it does say you could use this like a few times a week probably not every day just because you know give your skin a chance to recuperate um and then it has this like round base it does have like a little bit of a hole in here and this is a little rough but smooth at the same time so then you can just pull this off and this is the little charcoal pad that's in here and that is what actually um you know all the dead skin cells and things that's what it clings to and then you can see in here i've used this once and of course it does say to clean it after every use but i know what i got time for that um and this is where you kind of put the little replacement charcoal pads like that like so and then you just stick this back on in place so it's really really simple i actually really liked this so i only used this one time but i wanted to show you guys if you want to see a demonstration or like a more detailed review um let me know i i guess maybe i should try Next time I try go to use this, I think I'm going to try to remember to take a picture of my bare face and skin, <gasps> bags and all, <laughs> and then just maybe in a few weeks or a few months probably just see if there's any kind of difference that's noticeable over camera. So um, what you're doing, and it actually has like a diagram in this little pamphlet, is, you know, on your nose, you're going down, on your cheeks, you're going out, and then you're going down here, and then you're, you know, on your forehead, you go up, and then you pull to the side, and it just has a suction. So you pull your face taut, and you put it down, and definitely like, it's like a vacuum, it just sucks onto your skin, and you just pull it. 
and you will see a little bit of redness i wanted to do this on a friday in case my skin freaked out but i ended up doing it like on a sunday night and i was perfectly fine it says after a few hours the redness goes away my whole face wasn't even red it was just you know like i could you could tell i did something to my skin and um i think i watched like walking dead per, uh season finale or something and then it was fine it was gone my heart was broken but <laughs> from the show but my skin was fine and i just i really did like it it just these microdermabrasions are supposed to really get rid of the impurities, get rid of all the dead skin cells, and my skin did feel a lot softer. I ex I was expecting to see like a whole different person when I looked in the mirror when I was done, and I was like, ah, oh, I still look like me. Um, so maybe this is something that I'm gonna have to use more frequently. Like I said, that was a Walking Dead finale, so that was like two weeks ago. No, a week ago. Yeah, so I've only used this once, <laughs> um, and it does say use it a few times a week. Just for reference, my skin is not really sensitive. Um, I do have pores that are a little bit larger than I'd like, like right here. Um, I can get, I can be combination, like oily dry uh, when it gets a little warmer out. My skin does get drier in my forehead and around my mouth, those regions in the winter. So my skin changes, but... It doesn't react badly to any kind of lotion, toner, skin care, face wash, microdermabrasion. My skin is just very, it's not too finicky. So if you have really sensitive skin and you wanted something like this, I looked this up and I think it was around $100. Um, it ranged between $100 and $130 or something like that from different sites. I'm going to link, um, is it Trophy Skin? Yeah, I'm going to link Trophy Skin down below just so you guys know um, if you're interested in checking it out but I would definitely recommend staying on that first setting if you press the button again it'll go to the second setting and then you can do it that way and it's just a stronger section but definitely recommend trying this out maybe you know back here or on the inside of your wrist or the inside of your elbow just an inconspicuous but sensitive area that way if you react poorly to it you know not to use it on your face you don't want to mess up your face. Really excited to keep trying that out and give you guys a more in-depth review. Now that's it. That's all I have. I know. I feel like normally I'm showing you guys like 500 things, but I'm really trying to be good and not purchase a ton of stuff. But those are just some items that I've received and that I really wanted to let you guys know about that I could give you like quick little reviews, but also kind of upcoming on my channel over the next couple months, what you should be able to see, just more in-depth reviews. And if something is really great you'll see it in like a favorites video or you'll see a video completely dedicated to it probably something like this um if i have time it's really hard to shoot like skincare videos like in action um in my bathroom but i can try for you guys so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you tried any products like this or anything similar or if you're on content boulevard and you know let me know what you guys want to see if there's other products or other kinds of videos you want to see so i'll see you guys in the next video stay beautiful and stay blessed Bye, guys.